Yo, yo, what is up? So, we're gonna do some horror shiz. Moving on to sound classes on the uh, settings menu. So, hell yeah, hell yeah. Josh works. Hydrate. I preach. I preach. What up, man? What you got going on? Yo, yo. What you up to, man? What up? What up? Fixing inventory bugs? Oh no. What's the inventory bugs? What's the bug now? How are you, man? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Fairly well. Graphics menu is done. So on to the next menu. <clears throat> the items won't stack. Oh god. Yay, stacking. The best part of inventory. Good, thank you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're almost done with our settings menu. We're getting close to the end of it. Or at least all the things that I'm going to do with it for now. <laughs> Woohoo! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, it'll be nice to be done. Better do some sound class stuff that I, uh... Not too sure. I've never done done anything like that with settings menu, so this is gonna be a learning curve. So we'll see how it goes. I already set up all my sounds to have uh, classes. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Also changed some other things. I changed my uh, a little flashlight thing up at the top. Also, you start with flashlight now. You don't have to pick it up anymore. You just have it by default. The flashlight charge up in the top left is now an icon that'll drain. I know where Ben is. Where's Ben? Where is he? He's watching this uh, stream of good old Josh Works. Oh, are you streaming? You're not streaming right now. But it is stream day for you. When are you uh, starting your stream? All right. Ben, there's Ben. It's already on. Oh, here he is. Are you- you're not streaming already. Let's go look. Oh, you are streaming. Let me give you a follow. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, let's see what Ben sent. Sneak peek. Oh. 5.4 uh, sneak peek. 
Hell yeah, I will have to... We'll check that out after stream. It's 30 minutes. I don't know why he's doing an hour long test stream. Can you watch it later? I got food? Yeah, we'll check it out later. Hour long test stream? I guess just to see how his connection goes. Is that why? Alright, so let's... Sounds. Yeah, hell yeah. We shall see. We shall see. So we have ambient UI. Let's also go ahead and make a... You need to be using UE as well and doing other shit on the fly. Good so far, I am, but not on stream. Hell yeah, yeah. Just see how it goes. See how it works. We have UI, ambient. Let me look at the other thing, the reference that I'm looking at. Is it. Uh, where is it? This one. Oh, master. Let me pull up a sound real quick. What all classes already exist? We do have a master that is in the engine. We have a music that's in the engine. We made an ambience one. We made a UI one shorts. and we have a sound effects one. In my shorts, they probably taste bad. Voice. I guess we could do a voice one. We probably won't have much with voice, but yeah. So I think we have everything we need already. So let's go to our widgets settings. And we need, uh, let's duplicate this guy right here. This is going to be widget blueprint underscore sound menu, sound, sound settings, we'll call it that. <sighs> what do I have there labeled as just sound? Yeah, just sound. Okay, so open this guy. We need to just delete a lot of the stuff we have in this since we duplicated it, but there's gonna be one that I keep. Who's crying? Somebody crying. Was this? Oh, it's from Layers of Fear. <laughs> okay, so let's get rid of most of this stuff. We'll keep the Gamma one because it already has slider on it. I've spotted some issues with my add item function. Might explain some of my issues. What's the, uh, what's the issue? What issues you got, man? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And... That one. And then this will be sound settings scroll box. 
Hey, we got a bunch of errors. We don't need anything in the the graph though. Let's just delete all of that. And a bunch of these functions. Actually, I may have deleted some functions I need in there. No. Okay. Oh, button activation. Okay, never mind. I already got that categorized. So that's fine. <laughs> All of that can go away. That can delete that for now. Delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that. Cool. <clears throat> I'm doing a uh, check to make sure the quantity of the item we are trying to add is less than the item max stack, but I'm getting the information from the item we we're trying to add, not the item that was found. If one was already found, yeah, that's that's what we're doing with our uh, inventory. So if you go to my inventory right here and go to the add inventory functions here, it's like the first thing we're doing. So we're doing a for each loop with break on the inventory, we're basically uh, running through it. And we're checking to see that the item class that we're picking up is equal to the um, is equal to an item in the inventory. And we're checking that the current stack is less than the max stack. And if both of those are true, we're just getting the item index and promoting that to a local variable and also the array element and promoting that to a local variable. And then we made a local variable called found item. We're hooking that into the break. And then on here, we're checking the found item. If we didn't find an item, we're adding the item um, to the inventory. And if we did find the item, we are just adding it to the stack. <laughs> Caden is silly. I followed one of your tutorials and managed to get my menu working. So thank you. Oh, no problem. Hell yeah. Yeah, good old menu stuff. Yeah, we, we got a bunch of stuff on menu. We got a bunch of stuff on menus. But hell yeah. What do you got going on though? Yeah, I don't have anything with graphics. I don't have any graphics tutorials, though. <laughs> I need to do that at some point. This graphics setup took quite a bit longer than I expected. Yeah, see, that makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. And this works pretty good. This little setup works pretty good. We're also checking item type, but I don't know if you're going to have multiple inventory menus. I'm only doing this. Cause I'm doing multiple inventory menus. I don't know if you're throwing all your items into one inventory or if you're going to have multiple inventories. Just finished college uh, for the day. Going to work on some more um, menu stuff. After uh, done some chores. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good old college. Yeah, we're, uh, we finished our graphics menu and now we're moving on to the uh, sound settings. So on to, on to new things, on to new things. I've never done sound settings, so this is gonna be new. There's gonna be a learning curve here. Master size box. Master border. Master horizontal box. Master text size box. Master text. I could say master. Um, 
master slider size box and this is gonna be master slider um mm, master amount text sure let me also check project settings i don't i don't know if we have to set up that sound class or if it's automatic would it be is it in the game mode Let's see, is that in, is that a part of game mode? I don't think so. On uh, class. I don't think so. Got some monster too, so I'll be blazing through progress. Hell yeah, just get super, super hype. Super hype. Audio. Okay, default sound class master, default media sound class master. Okay, so that is already sound set up. Child classes, I need to add to this. Which is gonna be... Uh, um, sound effects. Uh, we need our... Music could not change sound class child as it would create a loop, really. So we might need to make our own music class. Sound effects. Uh, let's see. UI. Oh, why don't we have sound effects twice? Delete that. Uh, we got SC underscore ambience and is there anything else? Voice. I think this is all we need. Although I may just put ambience and music under the same class. Because that would make Kind of sense, right? C underscore music. This song is on a game called uh, Banished, I swear. Is it? This is from uh, Baldur's Gate 3. But what's up, Silent? Yeah, this is on Baldur's Gate 3. Back to Ryan Laley's version of inventory. Oh, you got to start over? Oh, it's silent. Hello, silent. It is silent. It is indeed. All right, so we got our sound classes set up. <laughs> okay. Master. Let's get on value change. How do we get a sound class? Sound class? Hmm. Set sound mix class override? No. In sound class? Okay, okay. It might actually be this. Is the volume sound mix class override? Sound mix modifier. In sound class, master. Volume will be this. No? Ah, uh, okay. I, I knew I heard this before. Yeah, it's in Baldur's Gate 3. Good old Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3 was so damn good. I want to go back and replay it. Well, what's up, man? What you got going on? Just switch what I have with the version of the inventory I did previously following Ryan Laley's tutorial. Yeah. So did you change a lot of stuff? Or did you like try to do another one from scratch? What is sound mix modifier? Go back to project settings. 
audio do we have any sound mix modifiers in here master submix default based sound mix voip a sound class okay I did uh, try and do another one from scratch following a similar technique. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, that's hard. Inventory is hard as shit. Inventory is hard as shit. So. It clearly didn't work correctly. Yeah. Yeah, I would, uh. I would try to avoid doing um, inventory from scratch unless you fully, fully un understand it because the inventory is so freaking complicated. Like I, like I would study, like straight up study inventory for a while until you try to make one from scratch because inventory is stupid hard. Max value. What should max value be? Let me look at their slider here. Their slider is all the way up, so they only have the option to turn it down. Okay. Okay, okay. So value will be one. And then you could turn it down. Let's see if that's working. It might already work. Although we may need to... Is there a thing for saving? Which tutorial did you follow for yours? I followed a guy called uh, Crystal Clear Game Studios. I can link it. This guy. In his RPG series. Could always do a group run on BG3. Yeah. Yeah, I never got to finish it. When I uh when I was playing uh Baldur's Gate 3, my computer died. I had to like replace some computer parts like towards the end of it. And I kinda lost my flow. <clears throat> uh where is his inventory? Inventory starts right here for him. Son of a bitch. Not player stats. Inventory. I'll drop this link in the chat. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. But fair warning, he does not go over drag and drop. If you want drag and drop, I probably would follow somebody else. I claim Pallier Fighter. I claim... I claim Carlac. Carlac, my lady. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Oh, yeah, no problem. Oh, no, that part already? That is not too hard? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't actually know Dragon Drop. I need to learn it. Let's see if this works. Let me pause this music real quick. Does this work? Oh, my God. We are falling through the world. Did I delete my... I didn't de even delete my player start. What the hell? Okay, so, oh, well, we need to add that to the widget switcher, actually. Let's do that real quick. You only play the main characters? No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. No, I haven't played any of the main characters. Other than, you know, like, adding them to your party. <clears throat> nah, I just like Carlac. Carlac's cool. Carlac's cool. Um, Little blueprints, widgets... 
settings settings menu and then we need the where is it right here yes on graphics button clicked we need this guy this one is sound button but yeah man i made it all the way to act three and my damn computer died i just haven't gone back to finish the game i need to finish it um on clicked find event to on clicked custom event uh we'll also make another oh we got ads custom event this is gonna be a sound button clicks or what are we calling these okay Find. We grab this. I need to add the sound widget. Sound widget. Oh my god. Screw this guy and having my same naming conventions. Okay, that's the right one though. Perfect. Okay. So we need the would you blueprint sound settings. Alright now I need to sound button clicked right here. And let's see if this master thing works yet it should i feel like it should but let's see so right now we have audio for sure if we go to sound turn all the way down we still have sound we shouldn't okay it's not working So this might not be sound mix class override sound class how do you change a sound shit inside of a sound class hmm Do I need to... Do I need to cast to it? Cast to sound class master? Marius! Oh, carry, carry, carry. Oh, what up, Marius? What you got going on? When does beard come back? Whenever it grows back, man. Hey, do you know anything about... Uh, sound classes, Marius? I'm trying to figure out how to change the volume of an entire sound class. And I, I don't really see much for it. I haven't fucked with sound at all. <laughs> okay. Seems like I might need to hit up Google. Prime all sounds in sound class? No. I think you want to change the volume of a submix? Sound, maybe so. Maybe we have to create a submix. Yeah, because I did see this, uh, where is it? Set sound mix class override. And we could choose... We could choose our sound classes in here. But it does have a in sound mix modifier. And th I had this value plugged into the volume. Not a sound class. Let's see sound mix 
Uh, let's see. Set bass sound mix. Push sound mix modifier. No. Sound mix. Set sound mix class override. I don't think so. Hmm. Pop. Try without context. Sound mix. Let's see. Because you don't have a sub mix variable now. Yeah, let's see. Um. Get bass sub mix. Sound bass. Get sub mix effects chain. It's a bunch of casts. Is it get base sub mix, maybe? Uh, maybe not. Yeah, as I said, I don't know. Let's hit up Google. Let's hit up Google. Let's see what Google says. Change audio volume by sound class. Let's see what this says. was wondering if there was a way in Blueprint that we can man man manipulate the audio volume of a sound class. I'm running into the issue. Okay. Try to get all actors of class. What? Marius, Marius, Marius? It's Marius. Can you get an all actors of class for a sound class? Set sound mix class override. It is not possible in 4.11, though there was a new feature added to 4.12 that allows you to override a sound class adjustment and a sound mix. Yeah, this is the one I was just messing with. This node right here. Daddy Works is here. He is. He is. Sound mixes are powerful tools for dynamically adjusting sound class properties. 21 hour test stream. Hell yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, old Josh Works is doing a. A stream right now. Hmm. It's probably been up for longer than an hour now, but I'm not seeing any issues with connection. Yeah, dude. I think I think you're fine. I think you're fine to just stream. So what if we sound cla class? That's the one I was messing with. That's the one that made the most sense to me. Set sound mix class override. Do I need a, what is this? I might need a, whatever this is, sound class mix. Let's uh, make one of those sounds. Oh, uh, maybe you could call it on mixer. Yeah, in sound mix modifier, sound class mix. And then you also choose the sound class here. Points. So maybe we need a audio mix. I don't think it's that. Where is it? Sound class mix. Can you try to, without context, uh, search uh, mixer volume or mix volume? Let's see. Mix volume. Nope. Mix comes in with mix. Add master submix effects. Remove replace submix effects. Set sound base sound mix without context. Oh, we're not without context. You're right. Uh, mix volume. Why is it not typing? Come on. Mix volume. Nope. So mix override settings. Sag. What is this? 
Submix. Crossfade. Submix effect chain. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Guess it's the override then. Yeah, this thing. The thing that I messed with. Why the fuck is this so complicated? I don't know, man. I feel like it should be straightforward. Uh, Jesse. Hey, Carrie. It's called Sound Base Mix. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, Sound Base Mix. Okay, Sound Base. Set sound base mix. I'm not trying to set it. I'm trying to change the volume of it. Where was it? Sound class mix. What's inside this guy? Sound class effects. What is in here? Sound class master volume adjuster right here. Master or SCM underscore master. Maybe this. I refuse to believe there is an easier way I'm going into research mode. I know, right? I feel like something like this should be pretty damn straightforward. Maybe this. And then if I go into... SEM underscore master. Master sound class volume right here. Oh, connect the pins from the value, change the sound mix pin to change volume. Yeah, I did that a minute ago. It didn't work, but I didn't have the, uh, I didn't have the thing set, set yet, or the, the mix thing set yet. <clears throat> what about this? What does this say? <clears throat> set sub mix output volume. Set sub mix out. It does. It, that doesn't exist. Oh no! Let me uncheck context. Set sub sub mix output volume linear target. What would be the target? How do I get the target of this? An output volume would be this. Try to make submix variable. Variable uh, master submix submix hmm. just a sound submix object reference. Is this gonna yell at me? Target is a sound submix object. Okay, that's what I have right now. Let's see if that works. Probably. Oh my god, why does it do that bullshit? It's so fucking annoying. Why do you do this? Probably not. Probably, probably not. Let's see. Okay, we have sound right here. Sound, master, turn it down. We still have sound. Because the sound submix variable needs to be set. Oh, we got a bunch of errors as well. An event construct. Let's uh set this to be... Oh, this is a submix. We need one of these. Sound submix. Engine sound, sound. What if we do that? Probably need to set this somewhere else, but... 
you have a default master submix? Yeah, I think that's what I just said, right? Oh, that's master EQ. Master submix default. That one, I guess. Let's try that. Hey, how are you going to save the settings, though? Combo box? No, we're not using a combo box. We're using a slider. Let's try that. Master submix default, probably. Let's see it. Sound. Oh, that worked. That did work. We don't have sound anymore. That worked. Yeah, that did it. I guess you have to check if your sounds are actually tied uh, into that one, though. If it doesn't work. Yeah, I've already set up uh, sound classes and stuff. But I guess I need to... Is there a way to set that as default? Hmm, do we have a default? Do I need to set that in here? A submix? Default submix right here. What do I need to set default submix? No, I mean for other settings like graphics. Oh, graphics, they automatically save. So with our graphics settings, yeah, let me just show you real quick. They don't auto save, but there is a thing that, let me go into my graphics thing right here. Uh, So whenever you change your graphics settings, you use the supply settings node. And if you use apply settings, uh, it'll automatically save it, but in like a situation where you change resolution, like what I'm doing, um, where is it? Right here. No, that's frame limit. Where am I setting my resolution? Maybe I am doing that in the other one. Set screen resolution. Oh, I have an apply button. Where's that apply button? Yeah, so when I apply the resolution here, if you apply resolution settings, this does not automatically save. So there's this node called save settings. And that'll automatically save it for you. <clears throat> Woohoo, good old Marius for finding that out. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. We're about to be going down a rabbit hole of trying to figure that damn thing out. Whenever you face a problem, just remember uh, game dev is easy. And then the solution will present itself. Life hack, write that down. Game dev is easy. It is easy. Kind of. Mario's instruction is unclear. Try to solve a, pro uh, solve a calculus problem by coding a game. Ended up with a game about uh, derivatives and no closer to finding the solution. Hell yeah, uh, into, uh, in CSGO, thanks for the tutorial, bro, hey, I appreciate it, man, yeah, no problem, no problem, how goes it? No, sorry, I meant to say, like, if a, uh, player selects certain option, like, change, um, res to high, or full HD, it shows in the combo box, too, oh, I'm doing a check for that, so, I'm doing that right. I'm doing that somewhere. Where is that? Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a bunch of these functions called check. And inside of these get game user settings and you just check is vsync enabled if it is then you set button i have a function called set button active set button inactive 
and it sets the style of the button. Yeah. So yeah, we just do a check. We check if it's enabled or not. And we're we're calling this on a uh, event construct. <clears throat> Sound settings should probably also be saved to uh, config so they initialize before anything else so you don't have major peaks in volume when launching the game. Yeah, is there... I think there's a way of... automatically setting that up. How do I set... What do I need to do to, to set default submix? How do, I, how do I use this guy right here? It's in here. There are ways in blueprints, not sure in uh, C++. Easy peasy. Oh, and C++ is easy? Well, we could do, we could do that in C++. I don't mind. How the hell do I set default submix? Mars works. I'm easy. Are you? Uh, I'll have to do some research on it, though. Yeah, yeah, we could do some research on that. Um. Oh, you could change the output target to a controller. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Uh, submixes. Default submix. Oh, great. Great documentation. Oh, if, uh, if unsets falls back to master submix, as set in audio category or project settings. Default uh, bass sound mix. Master submix. Master submix default. Okay, so it's being set right here. Cool. <clears throat> I think you're not understanding though. What I'm saying is that when you change your options with a combo box, that text also um, saves and shows what option is selected. Yeah, if you if you press the button, it just changes. Like if you go into to the combo box and set this to high, it just changes. This is overall quality. I guess that's not saving. Are we not saving that? We might need to save that. Oh, actually, you know what? That's changing because we have something else set in components in here. We have a thing that we haven't saved yet uh called set game scalability if i change this guy or if i get rid of that real quick that should save so hi hi think that should save now yeah see that saved But what I'm doing here is I have a bool called uh, it checks to see if scalability has been changed. And if it hasn't been changed, it sets the scalability to default for overall settings to one. So this variable right here, I will need to save, but we're not saving it yet because we haven't set up save system yet. But without that, at the moment, 
um, it will it will automatically save your your uh, changes that you've made. And they're all set. You have to override uh, Ugame user settings in C++. From there, it's uh, pretty GG. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, we could set that up at at some point. I'm definitely down. I'm definitely down to give that a little go. Alright, so everything is automatically going to the master submix at the moment. Uh let's see. So now we should be should be pretty good to just finish off the menu. Yeah, I'd want to implement it on my uh, own first so I know what the fuck I'm doing when instructing you down the line, though. So pretty far out still, but we could do it. Yeah, no worries. No rush on it. Main thing right now is just getting this menu to work. And then, yeah, it can always be added later. For now, you might as well save it to a slot if you uh, want to do that temporarily. Yeah, yeah. You could do it that way for the time being. Okay, so set master. Yeah, so. it's gonna be fun on the bun. Who that? Uh, West Coast Toasty is following. I appreciate the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is working right here. So that's good. So now all we need to do is make our other menus for other classes and I think we need to make um I think we need to make new submixes for those they have their own specific submixes <laughs> Strange that this isn't already exposed in Unreal uh, Engine, though. Seems like an oversight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about like kind of like how game user settings, it's already kind of exposed in there, where they have a node specifically for saving your, your graphic settings and stuff. Yeah. Little strange. Little strange. Okay, so for now, let's just turn the music back on. So now we want a... I guess the next we'll do... What all sound classes are we using? Sound effects, UI, music and voice. So let's do sound effects next. Engineer Gaming, yo yo, would you happen to know how to animate the first person player camera and an enemy attack animation? Something like a cutscene? I would. <laughs> it's not that hard. So you would just do. You could do something like a kill cam. It depends on how you're trying to do it. Are you trying to do it like a. Like a cutscene where an enemy kills you? At any location or at specific location? Hmm. 
Parallax YouTube, could you show me please? Why is this two different YouTube channels? How did you, how did your, how did... <laughs> how is there two different YouTube channels asking this? Uh, one moment. Yeah, it seems strange that they don't have audio in there as well. Check the docs. The only thing that you could change it uh, by default is the audio quality. They have an audio quality node? I didn't know that. Why would you want to change audio quality? <laughs> at any location? Okay, so if you want to do at any location. Let me just duplicate this real quick and I'll show you on this. West Coast Toasty Asylum. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so. Oh, we got ads. Let me wait on the ads here. I'll wait on the ads. Once the ads are over, I'll show. Sound effects. Also, I think I'm gonna get just get rid of the text at the end for these. So next we will do UI. are over so what you could do is say on your enemy why is the chat bot dead today is it dead i don't know it is dead let me check that maybe something broke all right so how you would do it is you could add a camera to your enemy And it also depends on how you want the the cutscene to be. Honestly, at location you could get way cooler results, but you could say have something like a kill cam and then attach this camera to your your enemy. And then what you would do is say when you die you would have your enemy, you know, play whatever animation they're going to play. And then you could uh, say like it, it on death is dead. Uh, if dead, you could play animation play your animation get player controller and then um set view target with blend from your player controller to the camera you added oh is that not gonna work here actually it might not Hmm, hmm, in that case. In that case, let me think about how you would do that. There's definitely a way. Why can we not set this as new target? What is it yelling about? Not compatible. Camera component object is not compatible with... What if we do a different camera? Doesn't work with sign camera either. 
Why would that be? Um. Let me think. Can't set that as target. Yeah, I would have to do some research, but something like this sh should work. You just got to figure out a way of getting the camera as the target. Which I know it's possible. I just did it on my door like a week ago, but I changed how I'm doing it. I'm not doing it that way on the door anymore. <laughs> Otherwise, I would just look at how I did it here, but it's gone from here now. Did we get rid of our other camera? I guess so. Let me look at that one video that I watched for the camera thing. I would, uh, I'll just send you the link to the video that I watched. Uh, camera swapping. Is it this one? Camera switching? Maybe this? Yeah. Yeah, I just need the link to this. Because this is what I watched to get a similar to re result. You would want to do something similar to this. I will write, uh, we'll write that up. Thank you anyways. Yeah, no problem. I'll send you a link to this, though. You'll want to do something similar to this. Just uh, check out this video. So back to what I was working on. Let me delete this damn thing. So. Oh, actually, you know what? I just remembered what it was. Kind of. I think instead of grabbing the camera, you want to set the new target to self, is what it was. So let me try that real quick. Duplicate. So, let me add a camera to this. So. This camera in her ass there. Hold on, let me move that back. So you would set view target. Let me get player controller. Set view uh, targets with a blend. And then I think on new target, you would get self. Yeah, I think you get reference to self and it'll automatically go to the camera here. I think that's what you want to do and change your blend time. All right, so also let me check on why the bot is broken. Delete this guy. Uh, let's see.
It somehow just got turned off. Streamlabs just turning Cloudbot off for no reason. All right, let me see if that's working. No. Is it working? Yeah, it's working now. Points! Yeah. Thanks, you saved me. Was working on it for half a day now. Yeah, doing stuff, stuff like that could be very, very much over overlooked or overthought, but it's not too bad. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I don't know what the hell Streamlabs doing. It just turned Cloudbot off. I haven't even been in my Cloud, my Streamlabs for at least a few months, and it just automatically turned it off for some reason. Asylum? Oh, there it is. There it is. Gamble all, I'm on a winning streak. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, okay, so let me go back to the widget. Sound settings. <clears throat> Josh, it's Wednesday? It is. So items are stacking again. There's a different issue now, though. What's the new issue? Josh, no. You have made promises. Don't make me get the pitchfork. The, the stream. He's looking for your stream. Promise? Yeah, you promised to do a stream today. Where's the Josh Works stream? I did do a stream today, but like a real stream, not a test stream. Real stream. That's that don't count. It was a test stream, you silly goose. Exactly. That's not a real stream. I know. It well, went really well. I think he's scared. I think he's scared, Marius. I think he's scared to do it. Right now, show us naked Josh. I think he's scared to do it, man. I think he is scared to do it. Okay, so let me go back. Sounds. So I don't think I need this, right? We're not doing anything with this guy right here. <laughs> I think so too. He, de he definitely is. He was crossing his fingers and toes that the internet would uh, be the problem. No more excuses, <laughs> mister. <laughs> yep, he was like, maybe I just have really bad internet. And I'll have that. I'll have that to say. <laughs> Is that what it was? <clears throat> so we are set sub mix output volume master sub mix. So I need to No Well where's the Josh work stream? So now in our, let's make a folder called sub mixes. So we need a, some sub mixes, mix, sound sub mix. This is going to be our, uh, sound. What would the, this be? S S M S S M underscore. 
or just SS. Probably just SS. SS underscore uh, UI. Sub mix. Parent sub mix. Wet level. We're gonna have a wet ass sub mix. No, yeah, sort of. Man. Man. Much disappoint. Don't worry, Josh. The first time is always fucking terrifying. It gets better. I always get pre-stream anxiety from time to time. Oh, I don't even get that anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I do remember that being a thing. <laughs> yeah, you get used to it, man. You get used to it. You get used to assholes, too. Eventually, like, you get an asshole and it ruins your day, and then you get a million assholes and you're like, oh, fuck this guy, I don't even give a shit anymore. <laughs> it would be the first stream I've done where I've been, uh, productive. Let's see it, man. Let's see it. Uh, Kamata... 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 Uh, I don't know how the hell to say that. Reaper, I'm just gonna call you Reaper because I see that word in there. What's happening? Uh, we're working on sound mixes in our settings menu. Comma, 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 comma. Okay, so comma. <laughs> Welcome in, what's up? Yeah, we're working on uh, sound mixes. Uh, let's go into our UI. Default submix will be our SS UI submix. And, oh, that's. Hold up, this is in master. I don't want that in master. This is supposed to be in UI. Why is this opening master? Does it just open master no matter what? Oh, it's because this is in master and it's clicking on this guy right here and then the master submix. Okay, I see, I see. So we do need to change it here. UI submix, there we go. I suppose it's sort of similar to Ben. Just nervous? You just nervous, Ben? Hey. Alright, I'm gonna say the same thing I said to Ben. One thing to keep in mind with starting the stream is that you're a new streamer. There will probably be nobody that shows up. So. <laughs> Not really much to be, like, nervous about. Not many people will be there, and it helps you get used to it. Bend over. You in here, boy? He was earlier. I think Ben needs to do a stream, too. He does need to do a stream. He does indeed. We're on a crafting system? Oh, he's in crafting mode. Very nice, Ben. See that craft. Ben, no changing the subject. <laughs> I fully support you no matter what, Ben. You need to do a stream? I can't stream? I can't stream either. Perfect. Okay, so we got that. UI submix. Let's go into Don't take for a second that we have forgot about you Got way too many things going on I had a fit last night because of a video someone sent me Uh oh Did you go rave mode? Like that kind of a fit? No well Gotta be careful what I click nowadays man Yeah I can feel you man not today, though. Why not? You said you were going to today. You said you were going to today. I'm disappointed. Disappointed. 
much disappoint. And I did? Not really. Not really. Alright, so... Sub... Mix... You... Or... UI... Submix. The longer you wait, the harder the anxiety will, uh, will hit. That's true. He's not wrong. He is not wrong. Because now you're building it up in your head more and more. SSUI submix. Then, um... Uh, why do I have two of these? Oh, UI. Sure, we'll go ahead and do UI. Unvalue change. I did go rave mode indeed. It was about 20 minutes when I left you. Damn, man. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that, man. What did someone... What did they send you? They send you a super flashy video? Just a straight up rave party and a video? I uh, submix. <laughs> Could you allow there to be tension leading up to the moment? Yeah, man. No reason to have tension with a stream. I don't have anxiety about it, though. That will hit moments before I start, and when I first start, Josh, we will do a dual stream. That will help us both? Yeah, that'll help. Y'all have both been on my stream. How how does that not help? That's gotta have helped a little bit, right? Sound UI. Okay, that is working as well. Cool, we got it figured out. But we should still have these sounds. We do. Hell yeah. Oh, we shouldn't have that sound. I need to add that to sound class, I guess. That one has not been added to the sound class. Now I gotta go hunt this bad boy down. Uh, inventory, right, this sound right here, yeah, class should be UI, class is UI on that one, cool. All right, let me catch up here. It was a Destiny 2 video. I should have known not to click it. Oh, Destiny 2. Yeah. Hmm. All right, I, I have a kind of a question. Have you? Uh, does do you think like is there like glasses that can help like reduce flashing lights like or even just straight up sunglasses? Would that help like reduce how much it affects your epilepsy? Well, you did click it. Would you say it was Destiny? <laughs> Friggin' Destiny, man. I played Destiny 2 for like an hour one time, and I was just like, nah, not for me. Yeah, I'm saying I should have known Destiny 2 has triggered me before. Yeah, friggin' Destiny. Been allowing me to make you feel comfortable. This one is for you. Hey, I appreciate the bit biddies. I wear them already. Oh, really? Are they like shaded glasses? Like they're shaded to help reduce like flashing lights?
sounds. We're gonna make submix. We're gonna duplicate this guy. And this is gonna be our sound effects submix. And then yeah, widget settings sound settings. The blood blue light, that about it? Oh, it's blue light glasses. But hmm would that Hmm. Is there like other glasses that would help reduce blue light and like help with uh like flashing lights? I wonder if there's a program that lets you override monitor behavior so it would smoothly blend to a new color uh, change instead of instantly triggering a or checking if something is rapidly changing back and forth like a fade in, fade in, fade out kind of deal. Monitor behavior is the wrong term, but you probably understand what I mean. Yeah, yeah, and like, um, hmm, maybe not monitor behavior, but like a monitor that checks for... I don't know, just like rapid color changing or something like that. Like rapid exposure or something. Google says this is a lens with a cobalt blue tint has been uh, proven effective at controlling seizures in people with certain types of epilepsy. Photosensitive, photosensitive epilepsy is a disorder that causes seizures in people when they are exposed to flashing or flickering lights. Oh, they are already for that. They are already for that, okay. Damn. Um, hey, how do you make recommended settings for settings menu? Let me find it. Uh, is it on here? So what I'm doing for recommended. So there is this, uh, on my combo box, I have a recommended button. And when you choose that option, we check to see if it's uh, equal to recommended. And if it is, we get game user settings, we run hardware benchmark, and we apply hardware benchmark results. And then we set our scalability info. We, ha we have a function that gets all of our scalability info, which is just setting the uh, all of our view distance, our selected option for all the other combo boxes inside of here. So yeah, all of this stuff. So yeah, all this function is doing is updating the selected item inside all the other combo boxes. We have a function for each uh, scalability type that just updates all that info. It'll be fine when I get my uh, meds back for it. It's under review at the moment. Oh, you just straight up don't have meds for it. Uh, I see, I see. Yeah, I didn't know they had, I didn't know they had meds for that kind of thing. Like I've only ever known one other person that had epilepsy and it was one of my buddy's uh, girlfriends. And I don't think she took any meds for it. Not that I'm aware of, but I guess her epilepsy wasn't too, too bad. Cause I know like she would, you know, play video games and stuff with us. And we never, like I never saw her have a seizure. <laughs> would this uh, be helpful, Ben? What is this? Strobe light before, after covered with red. Why we made it. What is this? Seizure flash blocker. Detects regions of the screens that are flashing too quickly and covers them to protect people from seizures. Is this like a... Like a, a software you can install to your PC? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it won't stop it. Just reduce it. Hey, anything's better than nothing, though, right? It might might be worth a shot. But yeah, I guess making the uh, settings menu 
is a uh, is a pain in the backside. It's actually not too too bad. It was a lot of work. It ended up being more work than I was expecting it to be, especially a more detailed one like this. But this is all of our code for it. We also got um some stuff going down on our graphic settings right here. All the stuff going down on this page. And we also have some custom settings we added. So gameplay settings menu. Uh, I guess nothing in there. Oh, that's all inside of a... Uh... Is there anything going on in here? Got a few things going on in here. Most of it's inside here though, right here. We got ads. Alright, while we have ads, I'm going to take a pee break. I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. 
Uh, when the executable is running, it monitors the Google Chrome window uh, for regions that are changing color too quickly and paints solid red over those regions to cover them. It is Windows only at the moment. Oh, Windows only. Damn Mac users. They're screwed. <laughs> See, there are also some website extensions you can install. Firefox has it and Chrome too. Very nice. Yeah, that's useful as shit. Thanks, man. I'll look into it more. No worries, man. Gotta stay safe. Damn right. Damn right. Gotta stay, stay safe in these streets. The streets of the internet. User interface. Uh, did we get sound? We did not get sound effects added, so... Let me go into opponents combat. Listen to one of this guy, this guy. Default submix. SS sound effects submix. And then let me go back to this guy. And on value change. We need to duplicate this guy. Oh, whoops. Not that. Duplicate this guy. This will be uh, sound effects submix. <sighs> Set to SS sound effects submix. Duplicate this. Delete this guy. Sound effects. Submix. Yeah, that should work now. Let's check it. Okay. Sound of sound sound effects. Turn it down. Yep, that's working. Sound turn it back up. Oh, that did not turn back up. Why not? What? Why didn't it turn back up? Oh, I didn't plug that in. <laughs> That's why. Whoops. All right, let's test that again. Down, uh, down. Turn it back up. Hell yeah, that's working. <sighs> there we go. Okay, so now we need, what's our next one?
music. We don't have any music in yet, so I can't really test that, but we know the flow, so it should work. Sound. Mm, Submixes. Duplicate this guy. And effects. Oh, whoops. Music. And then sound settings. Let's do music. Duplicate. Music. 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 And music. We Let me fix this. There you go. We'll say music. Uh, on value change. And we want to duplicate this guy this will be music set to be our music submix duplicate this plug that guy in That should be good. So now we just want voice. So duplicate. Voice. Then voice right here. Would be our SS voice submix. Then duplicate this guy. Voice. <clears throat> voice voice and then 
on value change. We will duplicate this. Voice. And we will set voice to be our voice submix. Duplicate this guy. And set this to be a voice. There we go. Master volume sound effects volume UI volume. Music volume voice volume. There we go. Cool. Something else I want to do is for now, we're gonna save variables for this so that we can save this information. So, master volume, I get a float. Next is gonna be Sound effects, volume, and UI volume. What else was there? UI, music and voice. Music, volume, voice, volume. By default, all of these will be one. Cool. And let me think about how I want to do this. Just do a cast for now. Sexy Carrie, sexy Marius, mate. Then it's time for oo's again. Can't wait for beard. Oh, no, no oo's till beard. Meanwhile, I'll stockpile points and bits. Oh God, I'm just gonna get hit hard one day, aren't I? It's gonna get hard as shit one day.
sound effects. You are... Okay. Here we go into. Let me plug this guy back in. We're gonna make a function here called apply volumes, and we're gonna get master volume, and we need to basically do the same thing that we were doing in there. Let me just grab this guy. And I need to make those variables in here, which was a, what was it? Sound submix? Master sub. Mix sound submix object reference. Let's make a function called set submixes. Master submix default. Duplicate, we need sound effects, submix, set this guy, which will be our sound effects, submix, <laughs> UI, submix, And music then uh, voice. Go to the event graph. Let's 
set submixes. Okay. And then we go back to apply volumes. Master submix. And duplicate this guy. Want to get your sound effects next. Sound effects. Sound effects volume. Duplicate this guy. Me UI. UI volume. Next will be music. Music volume. The next will be voice. And voice volume. Compile, save, and graph. Set sub no. Apply volumes. Okay, cool. Let's categorize this stuff under sound. Just eating? What are you eating? What'd you eat? Or what are you eating? Sound. 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 Delicious sausage baps? What is a bap? What is a sausage bap? Hell yeah. Alright, so we got our complete... Oh, oof? What's an oop? What'd you oof? What'd you oof? Did you spell something wrong? A bap is a tit? Ben, help me out here. It's a tit? Sausage tits? No? Think you call them rolls? Oh, like bread? It's like pretty much bread? Is a lovely sausage did? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Alright, so we got our whole entire sound menu done. It's completely done and working. Now all that's left is controls and accessibility. I'm not gonna do controls yet. But we'll save that for later. Can go ahead and uh, do some accessibility stuff though. I only have one thing in accessibility so far. So not too much, and then it's on to save system. Yay, save system. <laughs> That'll be fun, I guess. Okay, ads. Friggin' ads, man.
So let me get... I'll duplicate this one again. This will be... Accessibility settings. We delete most of this. Just leave those three, so that I already have those kind of pre-built. Delete everything in the graph here. Also delete all of these functions. Call them cobs though. Cobs. Bread roll for me is a cob. We call corn. We have corn on the cob. Yeah, hell yeah. Woohoo. Saves, funners. I don't know, man. I don't know. Save is a bitch and a half. Oh, yeah. Let me actually check this. Do we have a bunch of. We don't. I delete some of these. these variables there you go. yeah 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 menu gang what's up yeah 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 what to do what to do PM Teddy yo yo we're all eating corn the long way, right? Or just me? Yeah, yeah, you eat corn on the cob like a uh, popsicle. Corn on the cob here too? Oh, nice, nice. I'm from the north. I'm from the south. Sweet con is awful, man. Sweet con? Like sweet, like sweet corn? Sweet corn. I guess for now, all I need is... We will call this... I'm from the good old west. I'm from the good old south. Yeah, deep throat that thing. Just all in one. Just, just slide that bad boy right in. Alright, this will be... Um, reduce flashing. We'll just call it reduce flashing here. Flashling that's the only thing we have in here so far Flashing. Oh no, not that. Wrong text. This text. Reduce flashing lights. 
There we go. <laughs> I'm from the good old West. I guess. Y'all suck, man? What? Why do we suck? Why do I suck? Eat corn on the cob, but no teeth allowed? No teeth allowed? How is that even possible? Wait. Neither? I'm just mid? You're in the middle? Bet nobody can actually guess where I'm from? Not even based on my accent? Oh, I have no idea, dude. I have no idea. I don't know the UK like that. Uh, Jaw LL, are you good at replication? Nope. I am not. I don't do multiplayer stuff, man. I don't know much about it. <laughs> You're from Scotland? Are you from Scotland? Just suck it gently. <laughs> Just suck it. Suck the corn on the cob very slowly. All right, let's go to uh, here. Accessibility settings will add to our widget switcher here. How dare you assume I'm from Scotland? No, I'm in England. I've said that already. Yeah, but if you're talking about somewhere specific in England, I don't know. I don't know the UK like that. I don't know places in the UK. <laughs> My bad, you're from Ireland? You are? Are you from Ireland? I am. Are you for real? No, he said I am talking about in England confirmed from Ireland. He's from Ireland We have we have just figured that out if I was from Ireland, you know, I don't sound like an Irishman whatsoever You sound kind of Australian sometimes With that dummy thick accent, there is no way you're not from somewhere up north. I'm in England, but you need to guess specifically where I am and where in England I am from. Marius, no? I, yeah, I don't know England. I don't know England like that. I don't know one name of a an England place. In England, place in England. I know England, and that's about it. Wales? Wales is it in England? Yeah, I have no idea, man. Dublin? I don't even know where the hell that is. Is that in Mexico? Dublin is in Ireland? Oh, is it? He's Irish. Confirmed Irish. He's from Dublin, Ireland. Said you're from Ireland. Yeah, he's from Ireland. Accessibility button. I didn't say that. I'm from England. My bad, you're from Ireland. I am. <laughs> I was replying to Carrie. Oh. I don't know. You're from that one street. You're from that one street in England. The, you know the one with the, the name? will be uh, accessibility settings
Accessibility button clicked. Touch that. Graphics accessibility. Hell yeah, there we go. I drank warm uh, Guinness in Ireland back in the day. Warm, ugh. Warm alcohol in general is rough, man. Warm. It's rough, man. Here, let me catch up here. If I don't specifically at you, then I am talking to Carrie. Fair enough. If I don't specifically at Carrie, I'm talking to you. <laughs> well, mostly. I'm in England. I'm around Leicester, Ly Birmingham, London, Coventry. So you're from Al Alabama. You're from Birmingham, Alabama. How specific do you want us to be? Coordinates? I know, right? But not in either of those places. I want you to guess my town. I don't know the names of towns in Ireland. <laughs> Or England. <laughs> Come on, now those aren't real places. You're just making up names now. What I said are real places. Google search them. Slough Josh. Slough? No. Don't even know you're on geography. See, even Carrie can't pronounce Leicester. It's a made up name. Yeah, I have no idea how the hell you say that. But I butcher names all the time. Reading? No, that's in London. I'm talking about Birmingham? Not in England? Lester? Oh, it's just called Lester. Swindon? It's pronounced Lester. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Well, we got our entire sound class thing done. And I only need to do a little tweaks of accessibility. And then that's done. And then... Freaking save system, man. Save system is next. So, yay. But, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. So. Yay! Save system time. Oh, like how Worcestershire sauce is pronounced like shit. Dude, I hate, I hate trying to say that. I'm doing a bad job at guessing. No more guessing left. Failed. Awesome stream, man. I'll catch you later. Hey, I appreciate, I appreciate. Doing a bad job, but no hits were given. You got, <laughs> I gave you hits. Thank you for stream. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem. Team Teddy, incorrect name. All right, uh, let's... Hmm. 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 Poor shitter sauce. Poor shitter sauce. I noticed that you're still using Windows 10. Why didn't you upgrade? I don't know. I'm just not. I haven't really thought about it. There's like no real reason. I just haven't thought about it. <laughs> the Shire part is left out. Catch you soon, man. Talk to you later, Carrie. Yeah, I'll see y'all. I was trying to find someone to raid, but the people I would raid are doing non game dev things. I think I've forgotten, Josh. I will always remember. Damn right. The Wednesday of Betrayal. Alright, yeah. I appreciate him for hanging out. 
We'll raid Page GXO. Who's that? Page JXO. Uh, what is she doing? She's not live. She has around 200 views usually. She's offline right now. Oh, well, that's too way too many people. I don't raid people with big numbers. Go for boom. We could do boom. Give, give boom a raid. That's the OF person I spoke about before. Oh, that's who that is. She's muted, not boom. That's fine, though. At least she's online. True. Later, dude. Hey, I appreciate you hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you play Valorant? I do not. I do not play Valorant. I have before. I'm not really a fan. Boom it is then. Okay. Yeah, we can raid Boom. Boom. Alright. Everyone go hang out with Boom. She's doing some badass stuffs. I appreciate it for hanging out. We're gonna raid out the boom. And, um, yeah. Catch you soon, man. Yeah. Alright, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, homies. Peace out.